hello everyone so today we are going to start working on this simple HUD so here you can see the helper and a stamina bar so here if I start fighting with these enemies and let me just get, take some hits you can see the health bar is reducing so so this is basically what we are going to implement we are going to create the health bar uh, HUD widget and then we are going to connect it with our player character so before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page i'll leave the link in description below and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series i'm doing so i'll leave the link to the full playlist in, also in the description you can watch it for free in my channel so now let's get back to today's tutorial so i am referring to the ui system in assassin's creed valhalla as i was referring to the fight combat system also in the same game so i want to implement a health bar and this stamina bar and this um, i think this is health portions as i remember so similar to this i have created the outline of the health bar like this and then this crest and then the fill in area of the health bar which has the same dimensions as this image so then let's import them into our project let's create a new folder ui and another folder ui assets into this i'll import the crest health bar and health bar fill okay now here let's create a new user interface a user widget WDG hard and let's add a new canvas panel under this so the first element I want to add is a progress bar for the health bar so it would be like this and here let me rename this progress health and under the style background image i'll choose health by image and as the uh, draw as i'll set to image otherwise it can deform a little bit closer to the edges and as the fill image this also i'll set to image and as the image i'll choose uh, this health bar fill and here you can see how it works so the, this dimensions does not match for what we need so to reference to this to the dimensions of this ui we can simply do this here i'll also import a reference image which contains the to complete hut and then i'll drag and drop it here and set the anchors to match the entire area okay uh, I'll place it like this right now this is our health bar so what we can do is the anchor is here let's move the anchor over here closer to here and then so this uh, scale 
let's set the length to match this reference we don't need to match it 100% just to match it close enough okay all right so i matched it now here set the alignment y alignment to 0.5 and set both of them zero okay and let me duplicate this progress let's rename it progress stamina and this needs to match with this smaller stamina bar so size i think 20 what's the size of this i'll make it 30 this is 330 okay length okay this is good enough i'll move the anchor to match this One more thing, the fill color is white, should be white, so I'll make it white. Okay, the next item is this crest. So for now, I'm not going to do anything interactive there, I just need a placeholder. So I'll just drag and drop the image size. This is, I'll make it 90 by 90. That should be enough now we can get rid of this reference image oh wait I'll name this crest all right now we have the UI uh, here for the health bar I'll get health Set percent. I'll create a custom image. Update health. So we can call these events from heart to update the values. Similarly, for stamina also, I'll implement a similar event. stamina all right these are the two functions we don't need now uh, here I'm using the default HUD so under UI let's create a new HUD so that we can add this UI widget into the game window so hot hot i'll name this bp hot by the way if you are not familiar with the uh, architecture of the usual unreal engine games hot blueprint is where we manage basically the ui parts so let me open this Oh, wait before that I'll assign this BP hard as the default hard class mm -hmm. and here in the begin play I'll create sorry construct widget yeah, widget okay 
create widget select wd hard get player control and let's promote this created widget as a variable i'll call it wdg hut and let's add this to viewport all right now if i play the game i should see the hut see now we got a nice hut in here but as you can see no values are being updated so let's um how should we implement this okay i think we would need a interface to communicate with the bp hard so let's define an interface bp interfaces blueprints blueprint interface api hard here also i'll add a function update health we need an input health person where this should be a value in between 0 and 1 have a tool tip do we no but please note that this has to be a value in between 0 and 1 to properly uh, show the health value okay so now let's go to our character where we need to update the health value only for the player so here we should have yeah we have this update health function so here we can access this health value new health value and before this part we can access get hard oh no oh wait so we need to update the hard only for the player so i think it is a good time to have a separate class for the player maybe just a child of the same class but for now let's just do this here let's have a branch is player controlled if yes we can get the controller update health we can call up oh wait we need to then access the hard so get hard then on the hard we need to call update health function now here we can get the new health and i know the max health value we would have is 100 so i'll simply divide this by 100 later on we will refactor these parts for now i just want to make the health value updating so here also all right now i'm not sure if this calls let's get hit and see no it's not working oh sorry this is only when the character is dead oh, i'm really sorry about that so that means this is not where i should have called this 
I should have called this here. So let's add a sequence. Comment update health UI. Alright, now let's see. It's still initial, it's not dated. Let's get hit and see. No, it's still not working. Oh, sorry, I didn't implement the interface event here still. So add let's add the interface PPI hard and I'll set the category hard now on interfaces wait here interfaces update health We can get the WDG heart. Let's convert this to validated gate just in case and update health. Pass the value we get here. Alright, let's test. Still not updating. Let's get hit and see if it updates. yeah now it's updating for some reason it's hundred percent why is that oh it's slowly reducing okay all right it's reducing okay so now it's working but in the begin play also I need to call it but for now I don't have a load save mechanism so by default I will have 100% health so I just set the default value here 2 1 and the stamina also I'll keep at 1 but I'm not going to update the stamina level in this tutorial okay so I'm going to stop this episode right here as always, updated project files will be available for download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let's continue to uh, maybe next time we should integrate a stamina level as well so that we can uh, actually use stamina in the game to perform heavy attacks and uh, stun attacks in a meaningful way. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think and see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe.